Welcome to 101 Labs IP subnetting. Just wanted to give you an introduction for a few minutes about the course and about subnetting and about how this is all going to work. Firstly, this is 100% hands on. Now, when I say hands on, I don't mean you're logging in and working out subnetting problems on live equipment because uh, subnetting doesn't work that way. You can apply your knowledge to live equipment to check uh, interface addresses and subnets and summarized addresses be, but before you actually fix a problem you'd work out the answer on a piece of paper. So we're going to be using our subnetting cheat chart which I invented a few years ago. This has helped thousands of students from all over the world uh, uh, take exams, pass them and also uh, uh, fix problems on live networks. We're going to cover IPv6, IPv4, network design, fast subnetting, a route summarization and supernetting. And as with my other courses, you're going to learn by doing. So rather than me spend two hours talking about subnetting, we're actually going to cover all of the stuff you would expect to be asked in exams and technical interviews. Typical exams you would need this knowledge for Cisco CCNA, CCMP, Network Plus, uh, technical job interviews also, and on the job subnetting issues. I'm sure other vendors will be testing you on subnetting, um, but I'm, I haven't taken Juniper exams and a few other networking vendors. So. so you need to learn the subnetting cheat chart. This is something that you write out for yourself in a little grid when uh, the exam starts. Most IT exams you're allowed, um, used to be a pen and paper, now you're actually normally given a whiteboard and a black marker and a, a some sort of wiper and you can write out the chart and use it to answer questions. So what you do is have a grid at the top and the grid represents a binary um, octet that is used for IP4 addressing. So in the far right hand corner at the top you'll go 1 and then you will keep doubling the number each time for each box. You will double it until you get 8 places, 8 binary places and the maximum value would be 1 to 8. So feel free to stop the video if um, you're stuck at the moment uh, because obviously I'm not, I don't ex explain the theory for these courses. So this is an octet and you have four octets and an IP4 address. Now we're going to start off at the 1 to 8 number on the bottom left and go down one and we're going to add the next number. So 1 to 8 is our first number and if you look across the top you'll see the 64 to the right of 1 to 8. So if we add that to 1 to 8 that gets you 192. If you add the next number across which is 32 you get 224. If you have the next number which is 16, 240 and obviously you just keep adding the next number to the right. Finally you will get 255. These are all your possible values when you're writing out a subnet mask. Down the bottom of the charts we're going to do the powers of two. You will use these for network design type questions which we'll come to later on in the course. Start off with the number two. And all you do is double it, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, just to save space, I'm only going to go down a few values. But you can go down as many as you wish, depending on what the question is. So this chart will get you through any type of subnetting question for IPv4. Now there's two columns for the bottom part. You'll only use the bottom part, as I said, for design. The first column will be how many subnets. And then the next one will be how many hosts per subnet and we'll take two away and we'll explain why later in the videos. So just as a quick example, don't worry about understanding it because we'll be doing loads of these examples in the course. Which subnet is host 192.16.111.1in slash 17. So 17 bits are in our subnet mask and so normally we would have 16 bits in a class B address. So we know we've taken an extra bit in the third octet to, to do our subnet in. So I've just ticked one across in the top uh, value there and you can see the value is 128. So we're counting up in increments of 1 to 8. Our first subnet would be 172.16.0.0. Our next subnet in the third octet will just add our 128 value. 
and you can see the host triple one dot one is in the first subnet one seven two dot sixteen dot zero dot zero. Again, if it doesn't make sense at the moment, don't worry because we've got one hundred and one videos to go through, so there's uh, lots of time to learn this. Our next question one nine two one six eight dot one hundred dot one one three slash twenty eight. If you've read any theory on subnetting, you'll know that a Class C network has 24 bits of subnetting and we've got 28 here, so it means we've taken 4 bits from the last octet. If we've taken 4 bits, all we do is tick across 4 places in the top. This tells us that our subnet is going up in increments of 16. If you tick down 4, you can actually see that our subnet mass will be 255.255.255.240. Dot two four zero. If they ask you that in the exam, so we'll start off at one nine two one six eight one hundred dot zero, and you'll keep adding up in increments of sixteen until you find the subnet that host one one three is in. So keep adding up in sixteens thirty two forty eight uh, sixty four. It takes a few little goes of working out which one or adding up. But you can see 112 is exactly the subnet that our host 113 is in. Now this time we've got 172.16.200.217 is slash 29. We've gone all the way over to the fourth octet and we've taken 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 5 bits into the fourth octet. So we tick across 5 to see what our increments are going up in the 4th octet. And if you want to know what your subnet mask is, you'll tick down 5 places to see that it's 248. Now you're going to add up in increments of 8 until you find the host number 217. Now you're going to have to jump up to save time, so I've gone 8 and then up to 80. I've doubled 8 to 160 because I can see that we're going to get to a high number, 217. I've added up in increments of 8 again. I know that if I add up in increments of 8, I'll get to 40, which is added on to um, 160. And then I'll keep adding up in 8 until I get to the subnet that house 217 is in. And I can see it here. Uh, check out the resources page and videos. The resources page is under the help menu. It's probably worth mentioning, actually, if you do need a theory book, I'll put up an image of my... Uh, IP subnet in zero to guru book which I finished recently it's only um, a couple of dollars on Kindle and it's um, pretty cheap if you buy the printed version I personally recommend printed because you can write in it and make your own notes I only say that for those of you that are looking to uh, get a theory guide to learn about all your uh, classes of addressing and how this all works behind the scenes I'm actually just showing you how to answer questions in this course all right enjoy the course and I'll see you on the forum